One contestant hooked up to a heart monitor. Seven challenges, £25,000, and a thousand of your own heartbeats counting down. True. Hold your nerve, breathe deeply, and keep calm. I don't know it. Because the quicker your heart beats, the faster your time runs out. Can you handle the pressure? This is 1,000 heartbeats. Welcome to 1000 Heartbeats, the quiz where the beat of your own heart could win you £25,000. Here's a quick reminder of how Shawneen from Bury played on the last show. Last time on 1000 Heartbeats, Shawneen from Bury played three rounds and banked £1,000. Number four, cricket. With 428 heartbeats remaining, she has a big decision to make. Does she play cash out now or carry on to try and win more? All right, Shawneen, before I reveal your next round, Here's a reminder of how the game works. Each round is worth an increasing amount of money. Complete the round and you bank the cash. But that money is not yours to take home until you've played our final round of cash out. If you get a question wrong, we're going to deduct 25 heartbeats. If you can't figure out the answer, you can step off the plate, but it will cost you 50 heartbeats. And remember, if at any point your heart rate counter hits zero, it's game over. All right, Sean, are you ready to play? Yes, I am, Vernon. Let's reveal our next round. It's round four, and it's Link. This is Link. You'll see two columns of six answer options. You'll then be given an instruction. To complete the game, you must correctly link four options in the left column with four options in the right column. Finish Link before your heartbeats run out and you'll bank £2,500. All right, so round four, you'll only need four correct answers in Link. What's your thought process? I'd really like to give it a go, but if it's a difficult topic, I could not have enough left for cash out. So I'm, I'm going to go with what I think is best and give cash out a real good go. <laughs> All right, so you've got £1,000. What would you do with that £1,000 if you, if you were um, to win I think with the £1,000, I'd definitely be booking myself on a spa day. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the fella. Yeah. Forget him. Leave the ball over at home with I'd the ball. I'd be off there, facials, pedicures, the works, and then I'd go home and maybe treat Oliver to a nice night out. <laughs> All right, good stuff, fair enough. So, let me ask you officially, are you going to play on or are you going to cash out for I'm, a thousand? I'm going to cash out, please. All right, Shawneen, you've made it through three rounds. Yes. You've got a thousand pounds in the bank. Let's play cash out. Good Thank luck. Thank you. So, Shawneen, it all comes down to this. Can you cash out and leave with a thousand pounds or will you run out of heartbeats and leave with nothing? Here's how it works. This is cash out. You will be shown a series of statements. You must decide whether they are true or false. To win £1,000, you must give five correct answers in a row. But if you give an incorrect answer, you must start again. Do remember, during cash out, you cannot step off the plate. And every wrong answer still costs you 25 heartbeats. When you're ready, step onto the plate. Good luck. <laughs> True, false, play. Africa is a country. True. The alcoholic drink port originates from France. True. The Ferris wheel was invented by a man named Ferris. False. Bucatini is a type of pasta. True. Steven Spielberg directed the 2011 film War Horse. True. The letter A in Morse code is represented by a single dot. True. Musician Kurt Cobain was born in Scotland. False. In the USA, Santa Fe is the state capital of Texas. False. Singer Michael Jackson was born after basketball player Michael Jordan. False. England compete in rugby's Six Nations Championship. True. The word sprinted is an adjective. True. Oh! There have been two US presidents with the first name Franklin. True. Discovered in 1974, the Terracotta Army was found in Japan. True. 
P is the chemical symbol for potassium. True. Psychiatrist Sigmund Freud lived most of his life in Vienna. True. Jodie Foster starred in the film The Silence of the Lambs. True. Jay-Z and Kanye West released an album entitled... True. Stephen King has written under the pseudonym Richard Bachman. False. Zara Phillips. Oh! Johnny, you're so close! <laughs> you're so, so close. close! You got to four, and then you got the fifth yeah. question wrong, oh. and then you did really well, you got to three, yeah. and then once again you got it wrong. Oh, oh I'm gutted for really you. I really thought I had it then when I got to the four. We did as well, we did as well. You did really, really yeah. well. Oh, never mind. Well, thanks for having it. me. <laughs> can't worry. Don't worry about it. But listen, Oliver, if you're watching, Take her out for a nice dinner. <laughs> I deserve one now. <laughs> you do, you do. Well, you made it to cash out, yep. but you used up your 1,000 hours. I'm so sorry, you've been oh, a fab contestant. Worry, it's been a joy you. having you on your show. Thanks for playing 1,000 Thank you very thank much. You. So, who's next to play 1,000 Heartbeats? Please welcome Ahmed from Liverpool. Hi, Rachman. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So, you're a teacher from Liverpool? Yes, I'm teaching currently in a boarding school in Hampshire. OK, how's that? It's fantastic. It's, uh, it's great fun, lots of interaction with the students, long days, but very rewarding. All right, so you're dealing with lads, girls, aged? It's uh, mixed, so boys, girls, from 14 to 18 is predominantly what I teach. Oh, I you've with. got to deal with puberty. I don't. Well, I have done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. All right, Ahmed. Now, throughout the show, we're going to be monitoring your heart rate, and as it stands at the moment, it's on what? 65? That is good. Thank you. Just gone up to 70, so at least you're alive. <laughs> if you can keep it like that throughout the rest of the show, you've got a really good chance of getting to the final seventh round, which is worth 25 grand. So, without further ado, let's put your 1,000 heartbeats on the screen. There they are. We don't want to see that number reach zero. And one more thing, let me introduce you to our string quartet. Don't let them distract you. <laughs> now, they're going to be playing along to the beat of your own heart. The faster they play, the quicker your heart rate is going down. Good luck, Ahmed. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, my man, let's play a thousand heartbeats. <laughs> So everyone that starts their game with the same round, and that round is contrast, and here's how it works. This is contrast. You will see two answer options. You'll then face a series of statements, to which every answer is one of the two options. To complete the round, you need seven correct answers. Finish contrast before your heartbeats run out, and you'll bank £250. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's play contrast. You need to get seven questions right. If you're ready, please step onto the plate. Andy Murray, Lewis Hamilton, play. Competed in the London 2012 Olympic Games. Andy Murray. Has a mother known as Judy. Andy Murray. Set the record for star in a reasonably priced car on TV show Top Gear in 2013. Lewis Hamilton. Began dating singer Nicole Scherzinger in 2007. Lewis Hamilton. Has the middle name Carl. Lewis Hamilton. Was a voice actor in the 2011 film Cars 2. Lewis Hamilton. Was awarded a Blue Peter badge on the show in 1992. Andy Murray. Released the autobiography, Hitting Back. Andy Murray. Yes, well done. Well done, pal. Thank you. That was really good, Ahmed. Thank you. Well done. 915 heartbeats remaining. You got... How do you keep your heart rate so low? What are you thinking about? Growing up, I was always a um, penalty taker for my football team and um, I always enjoyed standing up on the spot. So you like pressure? Only if I've got confidence in my abilities. You know, I'd step up against any Premiership goalie if they're brave enough to, uh, to step up to the challenge <laughs> and I'll put a penalty against them. It's, Good man. Yeah. Good man. Well, 915 heartbeats remaining after the first round. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Heart rate has gone down to 67. Very impressive. 
so far. All right, after one round, Ahmed has banked £250. He's got 915 heartbeats remaining. If he continues like this, he's got a good crack at 25 grand. Find out after the break. <laughs> Which Olympic gold medal winning footballer set up a heart foundation in 2000? Dennis Bergkamp or Nwankwo Kanu? Find out after the break. Before the break, we asked you, which Olympic gold medal winning footballer set up a heart foundation in 2000? The answer is Nwankwo Kanu. Before the break, we welcomed Ahmed to the show. His low heart rate allowed him to complete the first round using just 85 heartbeats. Could his cool composure take him all the way to the £25,000 jackpot? All right, Ahmed, let's have a look at round two. It's reorder. This is reorder. You'll see a list of six items and an instruction that describes how you must reorder them. Correctly reorder all six items before your heartbeats run out and you'll bank £500. So it's round two. You've got 915 heartbeats remaining. Are you going to play on for £500 or cash out for £250? Um, I think I'll carry on. <laughs> of course you will. All right, let's play reorder. <laughs> All right, you need to reorder six answers. If you're ready, please step onto the plate. Florida, Maryland, New York, Texas, Hawaii, California, U.S. states, land area, smallest to largest. Play. Stepped off straight away. Yeah. Didn't want to take the risk by losing 25 heartbeats per wrong answer. Yeah. What did you see initially when you saw the options come up for the answers? The, the, the obvious ones are, are the large land masses, the, the, the Texas, the, uh, the, the Marylands, the, and, and, and the smaller ones, the Hawaii's. It's just the ones in the middle. So yeah. steps off the plate, took a hit at 50. Yeah. Let's take that away <clears> from 900, which obviously leaves you with 850. Still a huge amount of heartbeats. Let's reveal the answers. So the smallest on that list is Hawaii, Maryland, New York, Florida, California. In Texas. All right, so we're going to change the question. Okay. Let's play. Reorder. If you're ready, once again, please step onto the plate. Beauty and the Beast, The Jungle Book, Dumbo, Lilo and Stitch, Pinocchio, Aladdin. Animated Disney films, original release date, earliest to latest. Play. Beauty and the Beast. Pinocchio. Beauty and the Beast. The Jungle Book. Dumbo. Beauty and the Beast. The Jungle Book. Beauty and the Beast. Aladdin. Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, well done, Scott the Harvey. Come on. What is it with you and Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> Beauty, and the Be oh, Beauty and the Beast. You've got 695 heartbeats remaining, and you've got four wrong answers costing you 100 heartbeats. You used 220, you peaked at 94, still not gone over 100, which is awesome. Yeah. It really is. Got to eradicate the wrong answers because those are really costing you in heartbeats. So, after round two, Ahmed has banked £500. So, let's take a look at round three. It's Assemble. This is how it works. This is Assemble. You will see a picture of a celebrity's face. The picture will be divided into eight pieces, of which five will be missing. Using the pulsing blue square, you must find the correct missing pieces from the 12 options. To complete the game, you must find all five missing pieces. Finish assemble before your heartbeats run out and you'll bank £1,000. All right, round three. Are you going to play on for £1,000 or cash out with £500? Uh, I think I'm going to play on for the 1000 Going to play on. Confident 
in your ability to put the jigsaw back together. Definitely. All right, Ackman, let's do this. Let's play Assemble. <laughs> Come on, pal. All right, you need to find the five missing pieces. If you're ready, step onto the plate. Natalie Portman. Play. One. Two. Four. Five. Eight. Three. Yes, well done. Well done. You got one wrong. Yep. You used 95 in total. Okay. Once again, a great round. A great round. You've got 600 heartbeats remaining. You peaked to 85. I'm flabbergasted at how you're keeping your heart rate so low during gameplay. It's all well and good having a high heart rate now, but yeah. most people peak when they get onto the plate. Yours seems to just go down and stay there during gameplay. It's fantastic stuff. I think you've got a good shot at winning some serious cash. Fingers crossed. Let's see round four. It's Identify. And Ahmed, this is how it works. This is Identify. You will see a list of eight answer options. You will then be shown a statement. Correctly identify the four options that are true to the statement. Each time you submit four answers, the lights at the bottom of the screen will indicate how many are correct. Finish Identify before your heartbeats run out and you'll bank £2,500. We're at round four with 600 heartbeats. In your game plan, is this what you wanted? Um, ideally, I'd like 600 at cash out, but, you know, it's not going too bad. It's going really well. It's going really well. Are you going to play on for 2,500 or are you going to cash out for 1,000? I'm going to play on for 2,500. Right, good man. So, let's play Identify. <laughs> You need to find the four correct answers. If you're ready, step onto the plate. Candlestick, rope, vase, spanner, poison, iron, dagger, mallet. Murder weapons from the original Cluedo board game. Play. Candlestick. Iron. Dagger. Rope. One wrong. Poison. Candlestick. Iron. Dagger. Dagger. Candlestick. Rope. Vase. Three there. Dagger. Candlestick. Rope. Spanner. Yes! Good man. Come over. You look disappointed. What's going through your mind? Should have nailed it. Should have nailed it? Yeah. Once you get wrong answers on identify, it's then a series of elimination. Yeah. And I think you figured that out after the third attempt. <laughs> after 75 heartbeats. Yeah, yeah. It's gone down to 460. Still only just below halfway. Yeah. You peaked at 92. Are you starting to panic? No, it's just it wasn't one of my questions. Wasn't what wasn't one of my best. If you were to bank some money, some serious money, what would you do with it? Um, I think the, the the two things I'd like to do would be to uh, to get my mom a new kitchen, and to take my wife to the Maldives. Nice. Yeah. My wife has um, dreams of lying on a secluded beach doing nothing. I offered the Blackpool, but she refused. <laughs> it's secluded enough, isn't it? <laughs> the Maldives and Blackpool start contest. 
as beautiful as Blackpool is, <laughs> the Maldives gets a lot more sun. OK. Yeah. So after round four, Ahmed has got £2,500 in the bank. He's got 460 heartbeats remaining. Let's reveal round five. It's Keep Up. This is how it works. This is Keep Up. You'll see a number and mathematical sum. The answer to that sum will then become the subject of the next sum. To complete the round, you must answer three sequences, a total of 24 sums. Finish Keep Up before your heartbeats run out and you'll bank £5,000. So, round five, Ahmed. Are you going to play on for £5,000 or are you going to cash out for £2,500? You've got 460 heartbeats remaining. Still a cool customer. BPMs are 83. I'm going to play on. I'm going to play on. Let's play. Keep up. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. You need to complete three mathematical sequences. If you're ready, please step onto the plate. One. Play. Add nine. Ten. Multiply by two. Twenty. Add eighteen. Thirty-eight. Divide by two. Nineteen. Add five. 24. Divide by 4. 6. Subtract 5. 1. Next sequence. 2. Add 41. 43. Multiply by 3. 129. Subtract 102. 27. Divide by 3. 9. Multiply by 12. 108. Subtract 71. 37. Add 21. 58. Divide by 29. 2. Last one. 3. Add 101. 104. Multiply by 5. 520. Subtract 134. 386. Divide by 2. 193. Add 64. 257. Subtract 221. 36. Divide by 6. 6. Multiply by 7. 42. Subtract 39. 3. Yes, Dr. Harvey! Woo! Wow, I tell you what, Ahmed. It's a good job you're a cool guy under pressure. It really is. That third one took some time. It did. Didn't get any mistakes. That's, so that we was didn't the plan. take that, that was, was the plan. That, that was good work. Really good work. You peaked at 95. Yeah. And you've got 228 left. Whoa. Deep breath. Yeah, deep breath. Big deep breath. So after round five, Ahmed has banked 5,000 pounds. He's got 228 heartbeats remaining. What will he do? Will he gamble and go for 10 grand? Or Will he cash out and attempt to take home £5,000? Find out after the break. Who featured on Ollie Murr's hit Heart Skips a Beat, Rizzle Kicks or Flow Rider? Find out after the break. <laughs> the 
Before the break, we asked you who featured on Oli Mer's hit Heart Skips a Beat. The answer is Rizzle Kicks. Before the break, Ahmed completed his fifth round to bank £5,000. With 228 heartbeats remaining and just two rounds between him and the jackpot, can he go all the way? Well, let's take a look at round six. It's Decipher. Here's how it works. This is Decipher. You will see five statements. You will then be given a question. You must simply match the correct statement to the question. Complete Decipher by answering two questions correctly. Do this before your heartbeats run out and you'll bank £10,000. All right, it's round six. You've got 228 heartbeats remaining. It's Decipher. It's a tough decision to make. It's a tough decision, yeah, a big decision. Even if you did bank £10,000, you've then got to cash out and win the money. I kind of had a game plan to, uh, to get to this stage with 300 heartbeats and, and take on Decipher, at least. With 228, you know, I think some of those mistakes in the earlier rounds have, um, have come back to haunt me. I think I know what I'm going to do. All right. Are you going to play on for £10,000 or are you going to cash out for 5000 I think I'm going to cash out for 5000 All right, we're going to cash out. All right, Ahmed, you've made it through five rounds. You've got £5,000. Let's play cash out. <laughs> So, Ahmed, it all comes down to this. Can you cash out and leave with £5,000? Or will you run out of heartbeats and leave with nothing? We don't want that to happen. Here's how it works. This is cash out. You will be shown a series of statements. You must decide whether they are true or false. To win £5,000, you must give five correct answers in a row. But if you give an incorrect answer, you must start again. During cash out, you can't step off the plate. And as always, any wrong answers will cost you 25 heartbeats. This is your final penalty. You're on the spot. At the moment, you're on 76 beats per minute. Let's keep it as low as possible. Good luck, my friend. Please step onto the plate. <laughs> True, false, play. Silver is an element on the periodic table. True. Irvin Johnson is the birth name of US basketball player Magic Johnson. True. The first A in A.A. A. Milne stands for Allen. True. The city of Zagreb is in Bermuda. False. The first prime number above 100 is 103. True. J-Lo was the debut album of Jennifer Lopez. True. Former athlete Sebastian Coe won an Olympic gold medal in the 100 False. meters. The artist Rembrandt was Dutch. True. BB is the start of the Royal Mail postcode for the town of Blackburn, Lancashire. True. William Hague has been the leader of the Conservative Party. True. The Montgolfier brothers built the first steam engine. False. <laughs> that was oh unbelievable! God, it was unbelievable! Oh my life! I couldn't believe it! Me neither. Whoa, we got all the way to the fourth question, and then when you got that question wrong, hundred and one as a prime number. Oh my life! You live and learn. You live and learn. You live and learn. Yeah. The thing is, though, you're going to get ribbed now by all your kids at school. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that was awesome. Five thousand pounds. Thank you very much. Well played. A very, very cool customer. Congratulations. Thank you for playing one thousand heartbeats. Thank you. Good job, my man. <laughs> so, who's next to play one thousand heartbeats? Please welcome Sam from Bristol. <laughs> Hiya Sam, nice to meet you. You too, thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. 
What do you do for a living? Uh, I work for the fire service, taking the 999 calls. So whilst people are panicking because their house, their building, their place of work is on fire, you've got to keep them calm. Yeah, fingers crossed, and I'll hopefully try to play that this afternoon. How do you relax when you're not taking uh, 999 calls? Uh, I play football, golf, tennis, um, love walking my dog, and play, spending some time with my new little boy. How old? Six weeks now. Wow! Yeah. Little Bambino. Yeah, he's, he's really relaxing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently you've got quite a quirky link to royalty. Yes, yeah, my eighth great-grandmother. Uh, was Jane Seymour, and yeah, she knocked about with uh, Henry VIII for a bit. So. Wow, how good's that? <laughs> yeah, it's that's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, a thousand heartbeats throughout the show, we're going to be monitoring your heart rate. At the moment, it's 91 beats per minute, 87 beats per minute, which is really good. Really good. Nice and calm. If you can keep that heart rate throughout the whole of the rounds, hopefully it'll get you to 25,000 pounds. So, before we begin, let's give you your 1,000 heartbeats. All right, there they are, good stuff. If that number reaches zero, it's game over. All right, you ready? Yes. Let's play a thousand heartbeats. Thank you. All right, Sam, everyone starts the game with the same round. That is contrast, and here's how it works. This is contrast. You will see two answer options. Answer seven questions correctly before your heartbeats run out, and you'll bank £250. All right, this first challenge is worth £250. Let's do this, Sam. Let's play a contrast. Sam, you need to get seven questions right. If you're ready, please step onto the plate. Seven, 11, play, is the number of wonders of the ancient world. Seven. Is the number in the title of a 2001 film starring Brad Pitt and Matt Damon? Seven. Is the number of sides on a heptagon? Eleven. Is the number of novels in the Harry Potter series? Seven. Is the fourth prime number? Seven. Is the English translation for the Italian number undici? Eleven. Is the number of US presidents up to and including Obama since Nixon resigned? Seven. Is the number of months that have 30 or more days? Seven. Is the title of a 1995 film directed by David Fincher? Seven. Is the number of heavens according to the Jewish Talmud? Eleven. Is the Downing Street house number for the Chancellor of the Exchequer's official London residence? Eleven. Yeah! Come over, Sam. Come over. You got four wrong. That's 100 heartbeats knocked off your total. What a waste. You used 247 heartbeats during that. You peaked at 117, relatively high, but not too bad. And you've got 753 left. It's the first round. It's out the way. Now you know what the pressure feels like when you're under the spotlight, when the questions are coming at you on the big screen. Hopefully, your heart rate will go down and will reduce the wrong answers, which means you'll get more time yeah. to play more rounds. So well done, Sam. All right, let's have a look at round two. It's Unravel. Here's how it works. This is Unravel. You will see a circle of letters which spell out a word. The letters are in order. All you have to do is find the word. To complete the round, you must unravel six words. Finish Unravel before your heartbeats run out and you'll bank £500. Right, round two. You've got 753 heartbeats remaining. Are you going to play on for £500 or cash out for £250? Play on, please. Right, we're going to play on. Well done. Let's play it. Unravel. Good luck, Sam. Sam, you need to unravel six words. If you're ready, step onto the plate. Play. Hollow.
tutorial. Magical. Museum. Remember. Automatic. Yes, well done, Sam. Well done, pal. That was really good. Thanks. No wrong answers, so we didn't take away any heartbeats. You used 105, which is good. It's coming down. And you peaked at 119. So it's pretty much the same as the previous round, which is good, which means that seems to be your best level during gameplay. It's not bad. It's not bad. How do you feel? Confident after that? Yeah, that was a good round. Yeah, Definitely. you did really well. So after round two, Sam has banked 500 pounds and has 648 heartbeats remaining. Will he end up playing for 25 grand? We'll find out after the break. <laughs> Love Heart Sweets were originally distributed with which product? Valentine's Day cards or Christmas crackers? Find out after the break. Before the break, we asked you, Love Heart Sweets were originally distributed with which product? The answer is Christmas crackers. Before the break, Sam from Bristol struggled in contrast with four wrong answers, but sailed through Unravel very quickly. With 648 heartbeats remaining, can he keep up his momentum? All right, let's take a look at round three. Massive jigsaw. It can only be Assemble. Here's how it works. This is Assemble. You will see a picture of a celebrity. Using the pulsing blue square, you must find the five correct missing pieces from the 12 options. Finish Assemble before your heartbeats run out and you'll bank £1,000. All right, Sam, Assemble. You've got 648 heartbeats remaining. It's a big jigsaw. How are you feeling about these puzzles? Not too bad, not too bad. Are you going to play on for £1,000 or cash out for 500 Play on, please. Good luck, Sam. All right, here we go. This is Assemble. <laughs> Sam, you need to find five missing pieces. If you're ready, step onto the plate. Jennifer Lawrence. Play. Seven. One. Three. Eleven. Twelve. Two. Five. Yes, well done, Sam. Well done, Sam. You used 134 heartbeats. You got two wrong, which cost you 50. It's a good round, though. Pretty confident. Jennifer Lawrence up there. Mm, that's not distracting at all. <laughs> <laughs> Your heart rate peaked to 116, so it's coming down. After round three, Sam has banked £1,000, and he's got 514 heartbeats remaining. Let's see round four. It's Link, and this is how it works. This is Link you will see two columns of six answer options. You'll then be given an instruction. To complete the game, you must correctly link four options in the left column with four options in the right column. Finish link before your heartbeats run out and you'll bank £2,500. So, it's round four and you've got 514 heartbeats remaining. It's link, general knowledge, but what would be a good topic to come up? Sports, movies, um... Films, movies. <laughs> <laughs> more films. <laughs> uh, more movies. TV, yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you going to play on for 2,500 or are you going to cash out with 514 heartbeats left for I'll a thousand pounds? We're going to play on. Mm -hmm. Good man. All right, Sam, when you're ready, let's play a link. Come on, Sam. <laughs> Sam. 
Sam, you need to find the four correct links. When you're ready, step onto the plate. Doctor Doom, Shredder, Megatron, Doctor Claw, Dick Dastardly, Bluto. Link these villains to the TV cartoons in which they feature. Play. Shredder, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Dick Dastardly, Wacky Races. Bluto, Popeye the Sailor. Doctor Doom, Inspector Gadget. Dr. Claw, Inspector Gadget. Yes, well done, Sam. Got your doctors mixed up. I did, I did. Got your Dr. Doom and Dr. Claw mixed up, but it was Inspector Gadget. Well, well done. done. I think that was a good question. Yeah, yeah, I did like that. I'm a kid, so, yeah. What's your favourite cartoon? Thundercats. I used to love Thundercats. Is it? Yeah. Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats. Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so throughout that round, you managed to use a total of only 93 heartbeats, which is fantastic. So after round four, Sam has banked £2,500. He's got 421 heartbeats remaining. Is it decision time? Is it time to cash out? Who knows? All right, Sam, let's reveal round five. It's Keep Up. Here's how it works. This is Keep Up. You'll see a number and mathematical sum. The answer to that sum will then become the subject of the next sum. You must answer three sequences, a total of 24 sums. Finish Keep Up before your heartbeats run out and you'll bank £5,000. So, round five, and you've got 421 heartbeats remaining. You've got a big decision to make now, Sam. Your heart rate is pretty much the same throughout the whole of gameplay. It's not gone over 120 beats per minute. And you've got seven wrong answers so far. That's a lot of heartbeats we've taken away. What are you thinking about cash out? It's a lot of money to, to bank, and, um, yeah, that'll definitely go towards helping all this stuff for my new little baby, so trolleys and push chairs and things like that. Yeah. Is he going to play on for £5,000 or are you going to cash out with £2,500? I'm going to cash out, please, man. All right, Sam, you've made it through four rounds. You've got £2,500. Are you ready? Yep. Let's play cash out. Good luck, my friend. Thank you. So, Sam, it's all come down to this. Can you cash out and leave with £2,500? Or will you run out of heartbeats and leave with nothing? No one wants to see that. Here's how it works. This is cash out. You will be shown a series of statements. You must decide whether they are true or false. To win £2,500, you must give five correct answers in a row. But if you give an incorrect answer, you must start again. In cash out, you can't step off the plate and every wrong answer will still cost you 25 heartbeats. Come on, Sam, your missus and your little laddie are screaming at the telly wanting you to be successful, so come on, let's do this. Come on. When you're ready, step onto the plate. Thank you. True, false, play. The BBC was founded in the 19th century. True. Drummer John Bonham was in the band Led Zeppelin. True. Addis Ababa is the capital city of Ethiopia. True. The Commonwealth Games are held every two years. False. Emily Bronte wrote Anna Karenina. True. The father of adventurer Bear Grylls was an MP. True. TV show The Crystal Maze was presented by Matt Lucas. False. The astronomer Edwin Hubble was born in the UK. True. Elvis Presley has had more UK number one singles than Michael Jackson. True. Nelson's column stands in Trafalgar Square. True. Amaretto is a peanut-flavoured liqueur. True. Chelsea won the Premier League title in the 2004-5... In the NATO phonetic alphabet, whiskey represents the letter W. True. Tom Hanks was nominated for an Oscar for his role in Toy Story. True. The second volume in the novel The Lord of the Rings is called The Two Towers. True. 
Will I Am is a member of the group The Black Eyed Peas. True. The novel Little Women was written by Louisa May Alcott. False. The Welsh delicacy lava bread is traditionally made from seaweed. False. Singer Justin Bieber was born in California. True. On a golf hole, a score of one under par True. is known as... False. False. Oh, Sam. Thank you. Sam. Unlucky, my friend. Unlucky. They were tough then, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. Just... They really were. You made it to cash out, but you used up all of your 1,000 harvies. I'm really sorry. But have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, yeah, I've had a great time. Thank all you. Right, good man. Well, join us again to see if our next contestant has the heart to play 1,000 harpies. We'll see you soon. <laughs>Well, here on ITV tonight, live from 8, we're at the O2 in London for music's biggest night of the year with Madonna and Kanye West. It's the Brit Awards 2015, hosted by Anton Deck. And they're here at the weekend as well as the new series of Saturday Night Takeaway continues from 7. Next this afternoon, it's The Chase.